Those who rode out the storm in the Wild Horse subdivision, the damage from last night's EF1 tornado was bad enough. Still, their homes were among only 16 structures that were damaged in north and northwestern Bear County. Emergency management survey today found mostly down trees and fences. Jesse Teguiato says even so, homeowners along Palomino Path still had harrowing stories to tell. The few minutes that it took to leave this much damage began when Kenneth Bettis yelled at his son upstairs. There's a tornado warning. And he comes running down here and my daughter, my wife, had already taken shelter here in our guest uh, restroom. Later seeing what was left upstairs where his son had been, they realized they and the family dog in here had been spared a far worse fate. Like a nightmare. It really was. It was a living nightmare. It was... Uh, it was emotional because um, you just didn't know what was going to happen, you know. Um, it just, it was really, really tough. While we were on the back porch. Then there was Gerard Peter Wright, who now says he and his son shouldn't have been out here soon after the warning went out. That's when they heard it coming. It literally sounds like you're standing next to a train. They were running to the pantry when it hit. Uh, it did not have time to hit the floor. It, 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 already, it happened very, very fast. It, it Peter Wright says he's convinced all this was caused by the third tornado he's experienced in his life, but it hurt no one. It's remarkable, it's a blessing. We will pick up and move on and continue. In Northwest Bear County, Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.